Hi! A pleasant morning everyone. I am Brigado Nina Ansales and I am the first reporter from Group 2 which is Literature Under Spanish Colonization. So I have been given the task to report about Filipino writers under Spanish colonization. So by the way, this is the overview or the outline of my topic. So the first one is review of the Philippine literature under Spanish colonization. Second, Filipino writers. Third, Filipino writers' work and contribution. So let's proceed to the first outline of my topic. Review of the Philippine literature under Spanish colonization. Spanish colonization of the Philippines started in 1565 during the time of Miguel Lopez de Legazpi, the first Spanish governor general in the Philippines, and it is said that literature started to flourish during his time. The first Filipino novel was Ninay and it was written in Spanish by Pedro Paterno. It's just so amazing how Filipinos back in the time fluently speak and write the language, both Spanish and Filipino. They even made a book. And can you imagine making a literary work without the medium of your communication? It's just so mind-blowing. So let's proceed to the second outline of my topic which is the Filipino writers under Spanish colonization. The first writer is Jose Protasio Rizal Mercado y Alonso Rialonda or known as Jose Rizal. Second, Marcelo H. Del Pilar. Next, Graciano Lopez Jaina. Next, Antonio Luna. Mariano Ponce. Pedro Paterno, Andres Bonifacio, Jose Maria Panganiban, Jose Palma, Emilio Jacinto, Apolinario Mabini, Francisco Baltazar, Gregoria de Jesus, Leona Florentino, Antonio Mercado Abad, and last, Rosauro Almario. So here are the other writers. So we have the writers in poetry. Um, Fernando Maria Guerrero, Cecilio Apostol, Jesus Balmore, Manuel Bernabe, Claro M. Recto, Recto Bajo Los Cocoteros, Guerrero Crisalidas, and Apostol Pentilicus. In Zarzuela, we have Recto Pascual Poblete and Antonio M. Abad. In fiction, we have Jesus Balmore and Antonio M. Abad. Short stories, we have Jesus Balmore, Buenaventura Rodriguez, and Enrique K. Laigo. So, in essay and prose form, we have Trinidad Pardo de Tavera, Rafael Palma, Jaime C. Diveira, and Chodoro M. Calao. So let's proceed to the third and the last outline of my topic which is the uh, Filipino writer's work and contribution. So for the first writer we have Jose P. Rizal, his books and writings, Nole Metangere, does it ring a bell? Okay, so Nole Metangere we tackle this I think back when we were grade 9. And next is El Fili Busterismo, I think we tackled this grade 10. Next is Mi Ultimo Adios, My Last Farewell. Next is Sobre la Indolencia de los Filipinos on the Indolence of the Filipinos. Next, Filipinas Dentro de Cien Años, The Philippines Within a Century. Next is A la Juventud Filipina to the Filipino Youth. Next is El Consejo de los Dioses, The Council of the Gods, Junto al Pasig Beside the Pasig River. Mi piden versos, you asked me for verses, 1882, and Alas Flores, the Heidelberg to the flowers of Heidelberg. Notas a la obra sucesos de las Filipinas for el Dr. Antonio de Morga. Notes on the Philippine events by Dr. Antonio de Morga. Pija Sinto, Memorias de un estudiante de Manila. Pija Sinto, Memoirs of a student of Manila. Last is Diario de Viaje de Norte América. Diary of a Voyage to North America So for the next writer, we have Marcelo H. Del Pilar His books and writings Pag-ibig sa tinubuang lupa, love of country Kaya ingat kayo, be careful Dasalan at suhan, prayers and jokes Ang kadakilaan ng Diyos, God's goodness Sagot sa Espanya sa hibik ng Pilipinas Answer to Spain on the plea of the Filipinos Next writer, we have Graciano Lopez Jaina His books and writings Ang Fray Botod, Friar Botod, La Iha del Fraile, 
the child of the friar and everything is humbug, everything is mere show. Sa mga Pilipino, 1891. Talumpating pagunita kay Columbus, an oration to commemorate Columbus. In honor del Presidente Moraita de la Asociación Hispano-Filipino, 1884. Next writer, Antonio Luna. His books and writing. Noche Buena, Christmas Eve. Se devriente, how they diverted themselves. La Tertulia Filipina, a Filipino conference of feast. For Madrid, for Madrid. Lastly, La Casa de Huepedes, the landlady's house. Next writer, Mariano Ponce. His books and writing, Mga Alamat ng Bulacan, Legend of Bulacan. Pagpugot kay Longinos, the beheading of Longinos. Sobre Filipinos, about the Filipinos. Lastly, ang mga Pilipino sa Indochina. The Filipinos in Indochina. Next writer is Pedro Paterno. The following were a few of his writing. Ninay, Ami Madre to my mother. And lastly, Sampagita Eposeas Varias, Sampagita and Varied Poems. Next is Andres Bonifacio. Among of his works were Ang Dapat Mabatid ng Mga Tagalog, What the Tagalogs Should Know. Katungkulang Gawain ng Mga Anak ng Bayan, Obligations of Our Countrymen. Pag-ibig sa tinubuang lupa, love of one's native land. Lastly, huling paalam, last farewell, a translation of Mi Ultimo Adios of Rizal in Tagalog. Next is Jose Maria Panginiban. Some of his writings were, Ang lupang tinubuan, my native land. Ang aking buhay, my life. Suplano de Estudio, your study plan. Lastly, El Pensamiento, the thinking. Next is Jose Palma. Here are his works. Melancholias, Melancholies, Dimi Hardin, In My Garden. Next writer, we have Emilio Jacinto. Here are some of his writings. Cartilla ng Katipunan, a primer book on the Katipunan. Liwanag at Dilim, Light and Darkness. Ami Madre, to my mother, a touching ode to his mother. Lastly, Ala Patricia, to my counter, his masterpiece. Next is Apolinario Mabini. Here are some of his works. El Verdadero Decalogo, the true Decalogue of Ten Commandments. Next, El Desarrollo y Caida de la República, the Rise and Fall of the Philippine Republic. Sabayang Pilipino to the Filipino Nation. Lastly, Pahayag or News. For the last but not the least, we have Francisco Baltazar. His famous book is Florante at Laura and we tend to compare this to... Um, Romeo and Juliet. So that would be all, and thank you guys for listening. And I will give the floor to the next reporter.